Welcome and thank you for joining this session. In this tutorial, we will learn about the physical product object and how it is used. On the 3D Experience platform, you can build complex assemblies consisting of many components, which can be parts or other assemblies called sub-assemblies. You can also nest sub-assemblies in multiple levels to reflect the hierarchy of your design. The physical product is the database object that represents such an assembly. Consider the following product structure as shown here. The assembly comprises of two brass flanges bolted together by steel bolts. A rubber gasket is inserted between the two flanges. Because of symmetry, only a quarter of the component is modeled. The main assembly is the flange assembly physical product. It is composed of four sub-assemblies, each contained within its physical product container. As we go down the tree, we can see, for example, the bolt sub-assembly has two instances of 3D parts and the bolt 3D part contains the geometry information for the bolt. When you create assemblies on the 3D experience platform, you can position instances relative to each other in a global coordinate system. For example, in the bolt sub-assembly, you can position the instances of the bolt 3D part and the nut 3D part relative to each other. Similarly, you can also position physical products relative to each other. These position constraints are stored under the engineering connections container. We are now going to look at a simple example of creating an assembly using the bolt and nut. I already have the bolt and the nut 3D parts open in the session, though this is not required. To create a physical product, add the content, select physical product, an object with default attributes is created. Switch to the assembly design app if not already there. Then from the product edition section of the action bar, select insert existing part. Toggle on the multi-selection option so that you can instance multiple 3D parts at the same time. This shows that I have selected to create instances for the nut 3D part and the bolt 3D part. Once the selection is complete, toggle on the green check mark to complete the process. Instances of the 3D part are created in their original locations. To position the instances, you can drag the robot onto a component and then move it. or you can use the engineering co connections to position them. To do that, from the assembly section of the action bar, click engineering connections and then define the connections. For example, here we are going to put a coaxial constraint between the bolt and the nut. You can use similar engineering connections to get the proper assembly. This brings us to the conclusion of our tutorial. Thank you for attending.